Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish the Conqueror. Uh, we have returned from a larger uh, foray into our lands, into the, the Central Haven lands. Uh, we did a lot of scouting, did a lot of clearing out of some various pests, collecting some resources, and we also re expanded our uh, Fort Haven quite a bit. Uh, we should be generating some money now, which is actually pretty pretty helpful, because we're not exactly rich, and we could use a couple more things. Uh, I've actually been thinking about buying more potions, and I, uh, I'm i not entirely sure how that works. If you can actually buy more potions, or if you have to find them first, because it, uh, the, the alchemist said something about changing the contents of one of my existing flasks, rather than providing me completely new flasks. So um, I guess I'm going to visit the alchemist and see if I can buy uh, energy potions for my caspers, for example, so I can have a an emergency refill. Well, also we have this um, supplicant, I guess, who, uh, well, we'll see what he's all about. Obviously, we have to talk to Miranda about him. <clears throat> Chief Miranda is waiting for you. There is a dirty, hungry farmer in the center of the office, hands chained together, held by two guards. Oh, not so much a supplicant then. The chief says, I'm sorry, Prince, there is a thorny legal issue to deal with. Thorny. Um, kicked up to us by the tiny hamlet of Carto. Never heard of it. They can't deal with it, and requested the highest-ranking person here to settle it. Alas, that is you. No, how lucky for you. Um, tell me more. Miranda reads from a letter. We of Carto sent to Fort Haven one Maximilian, accused of murder. We are utterly unable to determine his guilt. Therefore, by right, we ask Haven authorities to pass a judgment. Um, you, you're not going to ask me to just decide whether he's guilty or not, right? If I can actually, you know, do a real investigation, that's that would be nice. I would, I would like to solve some kind of murder mystery, but I have a feeling like it's more, it's going to be more like some sort of moral dilemma, and you know, there's no right or wrong, or I will never know, and I'll feel bad either way. Basically, that's what it comes down to. Anyway, we'll see. <clears throat> Maximilian listens quietly to the charges. He has heard his letter read many times before. So what happened then? What happened then? Miranda continues to read. Maximilian has had a long grudge against Arvin of the same village. Arvin died under suspicious circumstances. The clans of these two men are very, invest are very invested in this. A decision either way will cause great argument. That, I suspect, is why this is being dumped on us. Okay. What evidence have you gathered? Chief Miranda looks embarrassed. Prince, I have struggled greatly to keep this fort intact. I have not been able to leave it to settle village squabbles, no matter how serious. <sighs> Maximilian, what say you? Maximilian looks up at you, exhausted. He has been imprisoned, terrified to death for some time. It has worn him down greatly. Prince, I swear I never saw Arvin that night. He must have just tripped and fell in the pond. He was a drunk. Miranda adds, nonetheless, Arvin's clan is very angry. Freeing this man will cause some strife in the village. You know what? I couldn't possibly care less if he's actually innocent. Where did the crime take place? One night after both had been drinking heavily, Arvin was found drowned in a pond. Maximilian was seen in the same area. I mean, if they're from the same village, that's not too surprising, but... Arvin's clan accuses Maximilian of the murder. No witnesses are available. A heavy rain extinguished all tracks. <sighs> well, in that case, we can't prove his guilt, so he's therefore to be assumed innocent. It's as easy as that. Really, there's no reason for any kind of trial. I get that they're angry, and he might very well be responsible. He might be he might be guilty, or there might be basically politics behind this. But well, with with these quote unquote this, this amount of quote unquote evidence, uh, obviously I can't I can't declare him guilty. It's, why are you even bothering me, me about this? Anyway. Um, that's it. That's all we have. Well, yeah, I've made a decision. It's easy. <sighs> Maximilian is... No, I, I don't know if he's innocent, but... Since I can't say for sure, I can't say with certainty that he isn't, he is... He will go free. I will gather more... In Return into the cell, you will gather more evidence. Can I do that? That's the question. Okay, now I don't know if, if I just say that. 
but if, if the game gives me that option, that dialogue option, and then does not actually give me an, a, a way to to do that, to follow up on it, then that would be... Uh, that would just be stupid. Okay, you know, in that case, I will gather more evidence and... Game, if, if, you, if you don't follow up on this, if you don't give me... Give me a real quest to solve here. I'm gonna be quite angry. Jeff Miranda and Maximilian are disappointed, but they're wise enough to not argue. The prisoner is dragged away and the audience is over. Huh, okay. Chief Miranda adds, if you want to look for more evidence, Carter is to the east, just south of the warehouses. I would not expect to learn much, but you can visit. I will. And I will do that right away. After I go to the alchemists. Okay, um, I want one of my flasks to contain different a different potion. See, so, yeah, it doesn't work this way, I guess. Or could I, could I buy an additional potion? Um, also, energy potion takes, well, more apothecaries. I don't know how many more. Also, it's extremely expensive. Uh, but just out of curiosity, this is the time to place new zone. Uh, select the bottle you want to put a new potion into. Right, so you have to already have a potion. Okay, that's kind of what I thought it worked like. Well, now I know. All right. Uh, also, I never returned to the barracks after um, buying the distillery, so let's see if we can actually... Um, see something new here. You trade new news of uh, events and tales of campaigns. That you have built a distillery for your troops makes things much more cheery. How are things going in the region? Largely secure. Huh, okay, well. I thought that was actually going to be new dialogue because they specifically mentioned the distillery, but I guess it was just flavor text. Oh well. Okay, so Carter to the east, uh, south of the warehouses, right? This is the warehouses. Where's Carter then? Oh, maybe over here. I just never went here. You'll find the village of Carto. It's a tiny settlement, only a few dozen people struggling to eke out a living in the sickly soil of the colony. This is also where Maximilian, the accused murderer, is from. You might be able to learn something useful about the case. Okay, I wonder if I... I guess I, I would have probably gotten some sort of dialogue about this, even if I hadn't, uh, hadn't, hadn't seen Maximilian before, <clears throat> just without this option here. I mean, I'm going to explore the village first, I suppose. It's a really poor, humble village. Having lived in palaces your whole life, visiting it is very instructive. No boutiques, no fancy restaurants. Do we have boutiques and fancy restaurants in the ca in the palace, though? I guess we have lived in palaces, that means we, we have been traveling. So, all right. How do people live like this? Well, they do. Uh, investigate the murder. Once the people here realize that you are the prince, they fall over themselves to help you. They're desperately eager to answer all of your questions. Ask questions. There are two clans in town. One is absolutely sure that Maximilian is innocent. The other is absolutely sure he's guilty. Nobody witnessed the death in question. All of the memories of the evening of the death have faded, of course. You leave without having learned anything of the truth of the incident. You doubt anyone will ever be sure what happened. Yeah, well, okay. I just wanted to make sure. In that case, it's still easy. All right, is he still here? No. You... what now? Wait, is he actually... Wait, I mean, is this... this is... Oh, this is the prison, I guess. Huh. You find Maximilian, the murder suspect who was brought to Fort Haven to receive your judgment. He sits in his cell, chained up and quivering, waiting for Chief Miranda to have time to bring him before you again. You question him, but you don't learn anything new. He denies the crime, but he would, wouldn't he? Of course he would. Unless... He actually is guilty and he feels guilty. But, you know, can we please talk about Maximilian, though? Game, why? Is this going to trigger again after some time? Also, why is this humming? What do you want? You hear the voice of your mother. At first, you don't re recognize the tone of her voice, the, her tone of voice. Then you realize she's pleased. My child, it is good to speak with you. 
I've been receiving some very reassuring reports. Really? I haven't been doing that much. Who is reporting on me? Mutual friends. Uh-huh. Thanks, Miranda. Um, or maybe even Stonehouse. Uh, what have you learned? You have been working hard for Haven. You have spoken respectfully for, of our land. You have taken seriously your responsibilities. Your journey in Sacramentum has done you good. Hmm. I decided to follow my duty. You chose wisely. And what you do in public reflects well on Haven and its leaders. If we act worthy of respect, our people will respect us. I only say what I feel at any time, for the most part. Oh, you have been so promising lately. I hope that trend continues. You will be rewarded well if you earn it. Make good choices, Atanto. Goodbye. Thanks, Mother. I'm still worried about that guy just rotting in his cell now. I mean, it's not just going to trigger... Uh, I should have just declared him innocent right away. I mean, yeah, whatever. Once again, I'm massively overthinking things, you know, overanalyzing this kind of situation where it really doesn't matter all that much, I'm sure. <sighs> but still. <clears throat> what is this? Well, that's Carter, yes. Indeed it is. Okay, so I'm just going to finish exploring this last little Unless the people of your colony are uninspired, they collect enough resources to maintain your forts, but no more. Until you have advanced farther into Sacramentum, you must complete missions to collect resources. Your courage will inspire your demoralized people. What? <laughs> Excuse me, game? Um, how are they demoralized? Why? What is going on? Is that because I've spent too much time? Is that because during the first 10 days you'll be fine, but after that, if you don't advance into the outer lands and do things there, people will just get demoralized? I wonder if I did something wrong specifically, other than just taking my time a bit too much, maybe. Or, you know, if this was just scripted to happen, or if, if it was a specific action of mine that caused this. I'm going to assume that it was scripted, because it feels that way, but who knows. I mean, that basically just means that we'll not be making any more profits at this point. But we're also not losing on anything, really. Anyway, uh, we find a survey marker. Uh, you haven't been to this one yet, so you look around. Because you're on the shore, you can see much of Ariel lands to the east. The gigantic thicket can't hide everything. You take notes. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, this looks surprisingly nice. Assuming this is grass, this up here looks more like some sort of... Well, I guess it does look like grass. With the slimes around, though? Hmm. The ground starts to squish under your feet. Slime oozes out of the earth and it sticks to your shoes. Okay, never mind. It's disgusting. The calamity is done, but some residual dark magic remains on this land, infesting it with goo. Yes. And there are people with the goo, so... That's interesting. There's an old haven estate to the north. The walls of the south gate are crumbling, but still standing. You think you see movement around them. There might be guards there, but you'll have to get closer to see. Well, I don't see any guards from here. The Neil Mans. Interesting. Is this on the map? Oh, it is. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I guess this is technically part of the Ariel Lands quest chain, though. Yeah, obviously it must be. I mean, yeah, I wanted to scout out the uh, all of the, the Haven lands before really moving into one of the outer outer lands. Do I want to check out this, though? Seems like it might be a major deal. Oh, it's actually a map. I mean, I guess we're here, so... You, you get closer to the remote mansion. There is a crumbling wall guarded by what looks like soldiers of Haven. They saw you approaching a while ago. They're waiting at the gates... Both drawn and aimed at you. Um, Haven deserters. Oh, well, that answers any questions I might have had. 
The warriors at the gate are definitely soldiers of Haven, but with dirty armor and unprofessional behavior. And what are they doing out here? When you get within bowshot, and one over-eager soldier cheers, Welcome! We greet anyone who wants to be saved from the doomed colony! We can take you to Sage Degra! Oh, okay, so we could pretend... That we're also deserters, or thinking about deserting, I guess? Hmm. Thank you, I'm Prince Atanto of Haven. Derp. <sighs> Doom Colony, what do you mean? Uh... The other soldiers look at you more closely. As they realize who you are, the one who spoke says, The brigands and vassals are coming. They will wipe us out a a a any day. Um, we all know it. We are finding ways to survive. Who's the sage Decro you mentioned? Our leader, the one who found this place. He'll have us survive. Okay, and now we have no other choice but to accuse them of desert desertion, I guess. I mean, which is valid, but still maybe not that helpful. Uh, anyway, you're deserters. We... Yes, yes we are. It was our only hope for survival. Haven abandoned us. We have a right to try to live. I would like to join you. Um, pretty sure that's not a, an option. Surrender or die. I mean... I can't not care about deserters. But I also don't have to slaughter them. You know, I could give them a chance to, now that Haven has officially reestablished its reign in this colony, I could offer them to be reintegrated into the regular army under certain conditions, you know. But that's not an option, and that sucks. When I say surrender or die, they're obviously not going to surrender. They're going to choose to fight me and ultimately die. It's just unfortunate. Uh, on the other hand, if I say I don't care if you desert it, there might be more options after that. I'd, I'd kind of doubt it. The game's just going to treat it as me being very lenient and overly soft, and that might have consequences, but you know what? I don't even care. The deserters look at each other. There is a brief discussion. They don't lower their weapons. We know your reputation, Prince. You might be speaking truth, but we can't trust you. Just go. Go and leave us alone. We'll shoot if you get closer. Seriously? So with a different... Again, is it is it actually true that with a different kind of reputation, they would have believed me? I mean, I was being serious in this case. Thing is, I could attack them, or I could leave and maybe return when I'm... when I have more of a reputation of being... Forgiving and, you know, benevolent. Oh well. Uh, let's fight, fight us some goose, I guess. <clears throat> we have fought slimes before, right? Oh, world's slowest ambulance slowly making its way past. Oh well. I did not... Did I actually misclick? Well, I guess I did. Evaded. Come on. Um, let's stun this one slime, I guess. Just to buy us some time. Although, they do have trouble getting around us. Getting around the, the rocks to us, which is good. So... We do have a decent chance of actually taking them up before they can do anything to us. Perfect. Uh, so if I switch back, that's two action points. One, two, three, yeah. I can approach, then shoot. And it's... Of course it avoided. Evaded. Now this one is still slowed, okay. Help. Still gonna die. Hmm. Okay. Clean fight. Oh, and we just fight these people. Oh, they're zombies. They're not. I guess they used to be people. Not so much anymore. Um. Sure. I'll buff myself again. Dealing 17 damage. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, can you stun zombies? I guess it would be yes. Well, I mean, it's not technically stunning, I guess it's slowing. 
No, wait, it's... Hmm. It's supposed to be stunning, isn't it? Anyway, whatever. Oh, there's another slime. All right. Hmm, I could distract it with... I could distract them with another type of undead. There. Because why not? Can I have you approach a bit more? And shoot the slime. Or not. Let's see here. Stun and slow. Okay. So it, maybe it's immune to stun. That's possible. But we do have the extra slowing effect, which is nice. Um, since it's not stunned, I guess I might as well keep attacking it. Or, you know, I could attack the enemy that's actually about to approach us, about to reach us. Uh, you can buff our attack. Right, they're fighting the skeleton. You can switch your weapon and still reach the slime and kill it. That's nice. Good attempt, skeleton. You actually did a good job. Oh, nice. Have to cleave. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a pretty successful fight. Nice, very successful. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll save the game. And this is obviously some sort of sinister slime mage tower. There is an old crumbling stone tower at the end of this valley. It's speckled with mud and slime. No humans have been up here for many a year. Uh, explore the tower. Inside the tower you find an abandoned living quarters. You find abandoned living quarters and a surprisingly intact alchemical workshop. Someone spent many years making potions out here. Examine the equipment. You can't tell when the alchemist left. It's been years, at least. At least. Right, yeah, okay. I was still thinking that there were people here. But since those were only undead, never mind. Uh, whoever it was, they left fast. The shelves rotted, the jars fell to the floor and smashed, and the goo inside oozed into the ground. You find one thing of value, a potion flask, miraculously intact and still sealed. Loot and burn down the tower. I mean, I'm going to take the potion first. Healing potion, all right. Which we could then change to something else. Um, I mean, right now we don't have access to anything else useful, so I'm going to keep it as a second healing potion, which is definitely going to come in handy. Uh, it is a properly un enchanted potion flask. Seems like it will be very useful. You put it in your pack. Okay, I, I guess we loot and burn down the tower, and maybe stop the goo infestation, infestation from, from spreading or something. First, you help yourself to everything you can sell. Then you light a torch. The goo and slime is surprisingly flammable. Soon the tower is ablaze. The vile stuff will no longer seep into the earth. Maybe in a few years nature will reclaim this accursed valley. As you run out of the tower, you find an unpleasant surprise. The heat and vibrations have caused several towers of goo to rise out of the earth. Towers of goo. As in the game? Oh. Oh boy. Thankfully, it's only two. Um, these are actually giant slimes. It's interesting to see that there are but this engine supports enemies more than one tile large, but that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder if I can send one of them running away in fear, or I guess whatever they do for movement. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll try it, just out of curiosity, and I didn't reach it. That is unfortunate. Well, in that case... I'm gonna buff. I'm gonna... Well, I can't really do much. I can't... Oh, it's so unfortunate that switching weapons costs two action points, not just one. Oh. Well, I'll have him stand there. And guard. Oh, what? Oh. They summon more slimes. That is a problem. <clears throat> Can we... Should be able to reach it, no? I guess not. You have to stand all the way here to, to be able to shoot this slime? It seems too close. I can normally shoot farther than that. Weird. Let's try to stun it. It is stunned, interestingly. But it doesn't have that many hit points, which is good. Um, you know what? I'm going to try and contain the slime infestation here. 
I made it really. That sucks. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm gonna make this one bleed. Also, critical for 39 damage. Holy. Holy moly. Uh, okay, we're all poisoned. That's awesome. I love it. We have to keep these slimes in check, though. They're... Oh, wait. Oh, the slimes are also poisoned. Okay, so there is friendly fire. I mean, I guess that's good to know. It's really good to know. There. Shoot it. Okay, they can move. I thought they were maybe just slime generators, but I guess not. Clearly they can also attack, so... Oh, the spreading slime caused more slime to appear. Interesting. Anyway. You deal with those. Thankfully the poison damage is very minimal. Really? Not, oh, I, I was going to say. Must be dead. Okay, uh, yeah. Kill that one, please. Or not. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Or pain. Um, make this one bleed as well. Or not. <laughs> come on, game, please. Am I still buffed? I'm not. Oh, also a snare. Oh. Didn't even realize. No. Buffed yourself. Take that one out. Take that one out, please. Thank you. Go ahead and finally start killing that one. Actually, you know what? Drink a potion. I guess we're going to return to Haven to regenerate soon anyway. Okay, and snare, but right next to it, so that's fine. You know what? In that case, there. Some more bleeding. Have a lightning, whatever, for a one shot. Okay, that's good. Health-wise, we're actually looking fine, yeah, because Elspeth healed. She wasn't looking so hot before. Oh, my mouse is kind of acting weirdly. 25, critical. Not terrible. 8 damage and kill it. Yes, there we go. Oh, that was an interesting fight. Interesting enemies. Oh, that was only one set of those. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, and this time it's three of them? I should have tried saving. I was I wanted to take a step so we would regenerate. Yikes. Good thing I didn't expend all of my magic then. Um Oh wow that does not reach far at all. In that case, I wonder if, if AoE spells are really going to be that effective. I mean, they deal a lot of, or it deals a lot of damage. Also, hold on, my, my mouse is really just uh, acting weirdly here. Okay, it seems fine now. Now, what do we do? I guess, I wish I could cast some sort of damage over time spell on these. I guess for now I'm going to... Contain these these slimes. Right, it's her turn. The thing is, she's almost out of action points. I wonder what would be most useful to do. Maybe make one of them bleed. For now, I'm this one. So okay, we have a new slime spawn right away. Hmm. I'm gonna switch weapons. Take two steps forward. Two, three, four, five. Well, I'm, it's going to take me a couple, turns, a couple of turns before I can actually reach one of the slimes this way, but I'm going to cause this one to bleed, hopefully. Oh, it evaded. That's very unfortunate. Okay, the buff is all. Oh, one of them moved forward. Poison, thankfully, hardly matters at all. The slime, though, matters quite a bit. If I could... Well, the thing is I'd need to take two steps forward, right? 
If I attack from here, I will reach two of them. I would like to affect all three. So, for now, I'm gonna take that one. Oh, come on, please. It's gonna be a Tantua's turn now, and he won't be able to do anything. Oh, no, it's his turn. Okay. We need to kill this one. Okay. So he can make his way forward. Actually, he can make his way forward more. Uh, we should be fine not being affected by the AoE spell, I think. But I couldn't. I can't take an extra step north. And I guess rather than try to make a bleed, I'm gonna buff myself. Do 20 damage. Not, not too terrible. Okay, I can take one step. And now finally I can do this. Uh... Okay, I mean that was a total of 66 damage. I, I feel like that's worth it, even if it costs 2 energy each time. To... Oh, one shot the slime, that helps a lot. You can walk forward, switch weapons, attack this one. You can help kill the slime, or not. You tried. <sighs> oh no. Oh wait, this should still hit the one slime, right? It did. Good, good. Um, kill this one? There's a good chance, yes. Of course I'd spawn a new one. This one should actually probably die from the next AoE spell, if she doesn't die. Oh boy, okay. Poison is getting pretty nasty now. Nice. Um, but she's also out of energy at this point, so... We definitely have to start killing these the old-fashioned way now. Oh no. Well, you have to heal. This is healing, okay. Just making absolutely sure. You heal her. Oh no, that's direct damage. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. This is a tough fight. There, drink a potion. Oh, nice cleave. We need that. Oh no. Can you actually... Oh, okay, thank goodness. I feel like we're being overrun by the small slimes, though. Um, uh, make it bleed, please. Hardly matters at this point. Oh, avoid it. Critical, 22. Please die from bleeding, or something. Nope. No such luck. See if you can finish off the slime. Okay, good. Well, you cleaved, but you didn't kill anything. No! Oh no, don't kill him. Don't. Don't kill him. I should have had him drink a second potion. Yep, he died. Oh no. We might actually die now. <sighs> oh, we need more of these one-shots. And we can't attack in melee. Uh... <laughs> well, he can't heal once. He could cast speed, actually. Or haste. You know what? That might be worth it. Hasting her. And you can still... Interesting. Some of his spells don't only consume four action points. The thing is, I have to switch my weapons so we can actually start attacking anything. Well, we can also do this. We can step back. And they keep spreading. This is so obnoxious. 
Okay, she got a turn again. No. Evaded. Oh, come on. Yeah, of course it was gonna split. Naturally. There we go, finally. Oh boy. Save the game. That was nasty. Yikes. Still pretty cool enemies. Um, also, I saw these resources here. Let's at least pick those up before we return. You find an abandoned cache of supplies. Most of it is bulky and useless, but there are a few sealed flasks of Quicksilver. Nice. I sent my minions to collect them. Of course I do. Okay. Back to safety. Okay. Now can we talk about Maximilian again? No, of course not. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. I wonder if there's ever going to be some sort of follow-up to that. I mean, what's the point of giving me the option to investigate further? And then just having him rot here forever because Miranda is never going to quote-unquote, get around to ask me about his case again? I mean, I can always pretend, you know, make my head canon that we actually released him for lack of evidence. But it's not actually the case, and, you know, there might be some sort of in-game effect. I don't know. Obviously, everything I do is supposed to have an effect on how people see me, at least. So these do not stack, huh? Even same types. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, I also put the runes that I can't even use right now, that, that I will never be able to use outside of town um, in the, you know, back up uh, backspaces, the ones that I don't actively use on missions. Mm. Well, I mean, what's what's my resource situation right now? 3163, okay, so we're definitely running out of stone because we're not making any any new stone at this point. That is unfortunate. And we're also not actually making, generating any money from the buildings that I built. That's, uh, oh well, it's what it is. Can I even do anything useful at this point? Back in town. I can't really do much shopping. I guess I'll just go back out again. We we did heal, that's why I came back in the first place. Also to check up on Maximilian's case if you know there would be any kind of way to solve this for good. Not for now at least. Obviously there's still hope, but you know, it's kind of dwindling at this point. Have we been south of here? Or is the map just not loaded? Or rather you know, not either or, but yeah, okay, we had been, of course. This is where the quarry is, and this is actually... Well, I guess we haven't we haven't officially discovered it. You know what? I want to check out the quarry. We have a quest for th for this, and maybe solving another quest will re-inspire the confidence of my people and make them actually give me resources again. Oh. This haven settlement was uh, once huge and busy and loud. There are the rotting remains of inns and bars and trading halls. Rowdy merchant caravans passed through here on the way to buy the precious stone and stonework of the wall. Now it is abandoned. There are a few patrols wandering around, fresh from haven. Your mother wants all this brought back to life. You have to admit it's quite a dream. The pass to the wall is to the south. It's a massive stone fortification. You see cook fires rising from within. A full battalion has arrived here ahead of you, ready to open the way to your vessel state. Okay, so I had, I guess I had approached this building and gotten some kind of message, but the actual wall gate is here, and now we have discovered it, and we should be able to quick travel there. Something, you know, a mechanic that I haven't actually really made use of. In fact, I could have, for example, I should have retreated to uh, Fort Haven that way, but I didn't. Okay, we got some scorpions here. I thought they were coming after me, but maybe not. Oh, there's a blue scorpion. Hmm. I think the, the actual mine should be more like around here? No? It's some sort of tower. 
Tinker's Tower. Interesting. There's a squat granite tower out here, looking out over the ocean. A sign by the door says simply, Tinker, open. Looks like a shop of some sort. However, you can't get in because there is a mass of huge scorpions clustered at the door, scraping at it with their pincers. The Tinker shouts down at them from, high, from a high window, but they don't listen to her. She looks out at you. I could use some help here, if you can manage. There's a lot of them. I will help. Of course I will. You try to sneak up on the scorpions. It doesn't work. The moment you get close, you know, sneaking up after I shouted back to her, whatever. Uh, the moment you get close, they turn and swarm you. There are a lot of them, and they are fast. The Tinker is afraid you will be overwhelmed. She comes to, she comes out to aid you in the, in the battle. Oh, oh. Even Sage. Great Scorpion. Yikes. Well, first and foremost, a buff. A blessing. Um, <laughs> honestly, this is probably a decent time to do one of these. Nope. Actually, this is... Yeah, this should work out quite nicely. And of course, the Great Scorpion evaded. Oh, well. Okay, they poison us. As expected. Um, I'm gonna make the Great Scorpion bleed. That should help somewhat. 28 damage, not terrible. You attack... Oh, I still have my sword out. That's fine. Didn't kill the scorpion. She didn't hit. Well, she tried helping. It's appreciated. I'll keep doing this. Okay, that was very disappointing. Great scorpion. Seriously. Um... Well, using more AoE is going to be difficult, although she might be able to take a step there and then blast these down here. Uh, still, you take a step back, shoot the scorpion, Three damage, oh no, critical damage. Um, oh, nice cleave, but she's still in a lot of danger, oh, oh, okay. All right, um, wrong button. You're a reason. Thirteen. That's not. That's not a whole lot. Um, are you freaking kidding me right now? Thanks for the friendly fire, jerk. That is. I mean, she she didn't actually kill any of us, but pretty damn nearly. Freaking great scorpion. Survived. Of course it did. Oh, you died from poison. This is horrible. Why did she kill us? Why did she have to do it? It's normally my job. Ugh. Yeah. I don't even know why I keep fighting. I mean, she's surprisingly tanky, and she deals good damage. No, oh, not more than our mage would. Obviously, against this many enemies, it doesn't really matter much what she does. Yeah, and that's that. Okay, you know what? A little quick save, please. Quick save down here, huh? I thought I quick saved outside the tower. Right, there's another one of the great scorpions. Obviously, not going to be alone. You know what? I'm, I'm sure we could win this. We just got quite unlucky. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, different starting position now. We can walk here. You can 
mean, I guess we can stun it, or it could resist both stun and slow and slowing effect. <clears throat> That's fine too. Will this reach him? It did. Damage block, that's nice. Mm. I mean, this will still reach three enemies, including the, the boss. So I think it's worth it. And before she starts blasting her own AoE spells now. Make it bleed. 29 damage, not bad. <sighs> um, we... I guess we attack the Great Scorpion. It's not that much more dangerous. Like, it can haste itself, which is annoying. But, per se, it's not that much more dangerous than the, uh, the normal Scorpions. It's just a lot tankier. Okay, once again we get an extra attack after... Can't reach? Oh, because... Oh no, because I still have my sword out. Well, in that case, I guess I can try attacking the, the boss. Hmm... Well... Well... Okay. It's just single target damage. The Scorpion, just still not dead. There are so many small scorpions around. Okay, it wasted its action points by trying to run somewhere. I like that. Don't like how much damage my tank is taking, but... Okay. The boss is dead. That's good. You definitely did the potion. Um, you are still hasted and buffed. I could use uh... hmm. Sure, let's weaken this one. Or not. Wait, what? Finding blow? Isn't that supposed to weaken the enemy? The enemy? Whatever. Uh, you can... I guess we can deal with this. I keep forgetting to change his weapon to the bow. Ah, oh, that's fine. Uh, you can actually do this. Walk over here, and then deal some area damage to those enemies, at least. Honestly, our tank is doing a pretty good job not dying from all of those attacks. Maybe I should have had him drink his other potion. Oh, thank you. That was actually helpful. Finally free to to do something here. You know what? Curing the poison is probably not going to be that helpful. It's just going to keep stacking up. No matter what I do. Okay, now you drink your potion. There you go. Uh, finish off the scorpion. Cleave the other one. Nice, nice. He is actually starting to get in trouble now. Maybe the poison is stacked up high enough now to be a real problem. What was that? Fear resisted. Well, nice try, lady. Cure you? Well, cured some of it, I guess. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Um, he still doesn't have his bow out. Okay, well, in that case, he win. And that's all my action points and potions. So... You know what? Make sure to kill this one. There we go. Uh, you can make this one bleed. You can stun one of them. Or not. But at least it's slowed. You can finally switch your weapon, kill that scorpion, or miss it. Yikes. 
Okay, um... You might as well renew your buff, just in case you survive. Which is seemingly... Uh, seeming more and more unlikely, but you know. Stun the scorpion. Or not. Rip. Well, she still has a point of energy. Not that it really matters. Okay. Well, our tank and our prince sacrificed himself for the greater good, but he's gonna be fine. The scorpions are dead. Even better, the tinker managed to survive. She sure did. She was the tankiest of us all. She brushes the dust and scorpion gore off of her, off of her rough, hand-spun clothes. Thank you for your help, uh, Prince. She kneels. This is a true honor. Please give me some time to clean up my workshop. Then stop by. I have some goods that might be useful to you. You know what? I'm, I'm, it might be possible to just return to the tower or, you know, go visit the tower right away. But let's roleplay this a little bit and actually return to Haven first because we kind of have to also... And finally, do this. Yes, three hours, whatever. <clears throat> we can return. We're fully healed. Lorena's not going to talk to me about. about anything useful, Ariel. I mean. Yeah, never mind. Not about Maximilian, that's the main thing. Um, right, we still can't really afford anything. We're still as poor as ever, we're not making any profits. But we did help the Tinker, shouldn't that help our reputation? Also, we can't teleport there, can we? Wait, Tinker's Tower, we can, huh. And there's a Squad Grand Tower. Uh, signed by the door says simply, Tinker, open. The Tinker opens the door as you approach. Welcome back. I'm open for business. I have a lot of odd things for sale. Uh, could you also maybe give us something for free because we saved your life and all that? Uh, what are you doing out here? The old Tinker smiles and makes you some tea. My family came from Haven years ago. You could actually find free land out here. And resources. Then the calamity happened. They fled. It was too st I was too stubborn. This is Haven land by contract. Some have forgotten. I never will. What's your name? Oh, I think I've forgotten. I am the Tinker. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. Stone blocks. Huh. We kind of need those, but we also can't afford them, so that's, that's nice. Uh, powerfully hastes and blesses all allies. Huh. Okay. A shielding band, which we have. Okay. Nothing super interesting, and we still don't make any resources. Oh, that's uh, pretty bitter. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. 53 minutes and counting. Can we take out another great scorpion? Maybe this is not going to be as bad, but we are also not going to have the extra quote-unquote uh, um, support from an NPC. I did save the game, right? Yes. Oh, it's just the great scorpion with no entourage. Well, in that case, that should be doable. Famous last words. It could be a lot higher level or something, although I doubt it. Why don't we weaken you? Thereby increasing the chances of it not penetrating through our armor, I guess. 25 damage, not terrible. 19 damage, also not terrible. Make it bleed. Okay, blocked all the damage. It pasted itself. Attacked again for 7 damage critical. <clears throat> but it's also definitely going down fast. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's a little bit poisoned. We extended one more action point than I would normally like. But, you know, it should be fine. Didn't get anything special for that, but he was get, uh, guarding the access to the 
marker, of course, so it was kind of necessary. Um, because you are on the shore, you can see much of the aerial woods to the northeast and the vault to the southeast. You take notes. All right. I honestly have kind of lost track of how many of them we found. I think we found them. We must have found both up here. Yeah, one over here and one. Did we find one here? I guess we must have. Wait, no, it's supposed to be oh, two on each side, basically, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This might have been the last one. Honestly, I, I think I've been to all the coastlines. This should be the last missing corner. We have been to the man's. Hmm. Right, that's up here. Well, there is a marker. I guess we've seen that one. Yeah, so this might have been all the markers. I guess we can return to the mage and see if the quest is complete. Also, this must be the way to the actual serpent quarry. You know what? Sure. Let's kill some more scorpions. Scorpions. Um, switch weapons. Attack that one. Buff yourself. Um... You buff the rest of the party. Again, these rocks are positioned in a pretty beneficial way here. Forcing them to move around. While literally all of us have range attacks. So that's nice. You're gonna switch to your spear though. Okay, you retreat a little bit. Kill that scorpion. You guys work on this one in the meantime. Weakened, okay, uh, filled out some damage. There's a cleave. Okay, good, good. You should be able to finish this one off. Yes, nice. Missed. Um, you can heal her. Block the damage, okay. Not bad. There was another group of scorpions patrolling though, wasn't there? Also, is this actually the quarry? Wait, this might not be. No, it's further up north. Derp. I haven't even... Oh yeah, right, of course, it was here. So this is all just for... Looks like some extra stone at least. Which is what we're the lowest on right now. So that's not bad. We can, well, I guess we'll start shooting these, since they're starting out so nicely far away from us. Although I should probably at least cost, uh, call, um, cast the Blessing spell. Uh, you know what, finish off the one. It's almost dead. That's fine. I don't think we're gonna regenerate any more energy than we started this fight with. That's okay. Nope. 11 critical. That's pretty nasty. Kind of, you know what? We don't need to heal. I can have him drink a potion. Like right now. Attack for 20. We might be able to finish the scorpion this round. If 
no one misses. Nice. Okay. And we get... You searched the far end of this abandoned quarry. Most of it is in ruins, but there are a few nice piles of dressed stone in the east end. Make a note to send some workers. Okay, two stone. That's decent. Right, and this is... Okay. Can we actually... Enter this place? Uh, there is a pack of fresh, eager Havian soldiers watching the road to the Vol. They are all young, probably on their first posting to a colony, eager for adventure and advancement. They salute as you approach. What's your status? All is well, Prince. We are eager to bring the Vol back in line. I need your opinion on the political situation. The soldiers get real quiet and nervous. They know that sharing uncensored political opinions around, royal around royalty is a great way to get seriously executed. Okay, uh, what are your current orders? Keep the supply lines to Fort Haven open. Watch for escaping Owen and other refugees, but not to bother them unless they bother us. That's the sum of what the general said. Okay, the Vol give you any trouble? When we get close to the fort, they uh, to set up camp. Someone, when we got close to to the fort, to set up camp, someone fired arrows at us from the ramparts. Our mages and archers silenced them quick enough. Huh. Okay. So not particularly, not a particularly warm welcome. Where's the rest of your battalion? The south battalion is to the south. Duh. Camp just outside the wall fortifications. The general had us set up camp. Now she's waiting for you. Who's your general? General Aquila, Prince. She's waiting for you before. Um, she's waiting for you before she opens the way to the wall. She's eager to speak with you. Here we are. Okay, so this is just. Uh, this is not actually a map to enter, but this down here will be. Good to know. Okay, so we've scouted out all of this. Can we please? It's too far away. Seriously. You find a few piles of nice granite blocks. They weren't valuable enough to take with them uh, when Haven fled. They're useful now. I didn't even see them. Where were they? Just out in the open. Okay. So is this where the quarry is? Uh, you see a lot more snake skins. You don't want to be prejudiced. Uh, a lot of people love snakes. Some even keep them as pets. However, they don't keep and cherish monstrous ten-foot long snakes like the ones around here. That there are a lot of, of course. Actually, there are none outside, which is nice. Okay, so that was the last corner here I hadn't explored, except for this one. You know what? Before I call this an episode, even though we are over an hour, I just want to fill that gap, unless there was something specifically, something specific stopping me? Oh, okay, this is where more scorpions are. You know what? I think I want to finish clearing out the overworld before I actually head into the, the serpent quarry here. <clears throat> but at least we've officially discovered it now. And we should be getting extremely close to having seen every little corner of Havenlands. So, uh, well, that's good. What's not so good is that we've stopped, you know, making any sort of resource profits. But I can only assume that, it, that that's been scripted because I've been taking too long or something. Obviously, there's some sort of element of passage of time here, similar to Avernum 3. Although, in that game, it didn't end up mattering at all. We'll see how much of an effect it has here. I guess we've or we're already experiencing, uh, experiencing some sort of effect, so there is that. Anyway, um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.